All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man, Jay Will. So ultimately, what I have here is the G7 mounted up on my tripod, and here is my DSLR. I want to talk about the cameras on the G7 because they're definitely a content creator's dream. This video is going to be a direct upload to YouTube, uh, and I'll just shoot the thumbnail. I want to take a picture of something, though, to show you that I'm actually using this phone. And I'll post that up as the thumbnail. But I, I got to say, I got to give props to LG for having such a sleeper device. This phone uh, specs is solid. Okay, listen, we know the specs are really, really good. Uh, I'm not Also, I'm not shooting at the wide angle because this phone still has a... This is the shot that I wanted, but if I shoot it at the wide angle, it picks up so much. So um, I wanted to say that the LG G7 has got to be the most underrated phone for cameras I have ever used. I used to use the the uh, U11, I still have the U11 for the channel, the content creation on my channel, videos, front vlogs, everything. Now, this is the G7. I feel like if LG would market this phone, like most companies, they make a mistake with their marketing. If they could get that down, this phone, it's just so much better in the camera department than so many other phones on the market. Now, when I shoot with the LG G7, I always shoot in manual mode um, because I can control so many things with the manual mode setting. Auto is good. I've heard some people say that auto wasn't good. I feel like auto is good, uh, but I just feel like in manual mode, I have a little bit more control and I don't even claim to be a photographer. Even though I use a DSLR for my channel, I did this for a reason. So I, I used to use phones to shoot video footage on my channel. I stopped that solely because I was inconsistent and I wanted a more stable type of quality coming from my channel so I upgraded to a mirrorless camera and a DSLR and I think that was a smart choice but if in fact the, the G7 was around when I when I was making that decision or I knew about the G7 a little bit more when making a decision to get something for my channel I probably would have stick with a phone because this phone to me in my humble opinion, is definitely worthy of being a content creator's device, like YouTube. If you wanted to do YouTube, you could shoot footage, do whatever you want to do with your channel, create your content, do whatever you need to do, then go ahead and start making phone calls again and texting and emails and just do it. It's just a regular phone. But the cameras in this phone are so top notch, it's unreal that LG is doing a poor job at marketing and getting this onto all carriers and getting it promoted by the carriers. The carriers pretty much push two types of phones, Samsung and Apple phones. And they also say that both of those phones have better cameras. Well, I disagree. So far, now I don't have my new iPhones yet, but when I will put them against the G7. Personally, I don't think they're gonna beat the G7. I know that's a bold statement to make, but I'm pretty much getting the same cameras as in the 10. They can tell me that they're upgrading the cameras, but this is a quality set of cameras on this phone. The wide angle shot is ridiculous, man. I had it at the wide angle shot for this video. This is actually take two. And um, I thought, you know what? I'm gonna switch it back to a more narrow field of view because I don't need all of that in this video. I just wanted to showcase how great these cameras were, man. And I'm telling you, man, I, I've never in my life uh, of using doing YouTube watch the growth of a company get overlooked. Some people get on go on social media and they talk about the failures of a company by saying, oh, they're not selling a lot. They're not going to do well. No one's going to buy it. They have poor marketing. Well, I agree with you. They do have poor marketing. But it's up to us as content creators to keep things into view of the consumers. You don't have to buy an iPhone. You don't have to buy a Samsung. There's plenty of other phones out there that have better cameras, and I'm shooting on one of them right now. I put this phone up against the Note 9. I personally felt like this camera, these cameras were better. Manual mode, to me, is the way to go when using this camera if, you, if you're a content creator. But if you're not a content creator, you're still going to get good footage. You're just going to let the, camera do, the phone do it for you. But I wanted to do a quick video and highlight the cameras on this phone, man, because um, I, I tend to do this sometimes. I'll do a review with the product. There's no external mics or nothing. This is just straight up... Um, me controlling the audio and me controlling the settings uh, of this camera with this footage. Also, what I've experienced, I just shot, now the video that you didn't see was actually about 13 minutes. I, I stopped that 
um, because again, it was the wide angle shot. But what I will say is I haven't experienced any overheating. Take it for what it's worth. Fantastic set of cameras. This is your man, Jay Will. This is the LG G7. I'm just going to directly upload this to YouTube to show you what it's about. I'm out.